Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Martin and welcome back. Today I wanted to make a video talking about the Titan Barricade class ability and the exotic chess piece, the Crest of Arthur Lupi, and its utility mainly in the Crucible. By now we already know just how powerful the Rally Barricade can be in PvE for doing high DPS on bosses such as Kalos during the raid, especially when paired with Cold Heart or Sweet Business due to the automatic reload capabilities, but I haven't really been seeing many Titans in the Crucible using the Barricade as much as they could be to win engagement, more specifically the Towering Barricade. The Rally Barricade in my opinion isn't quite as useful in PvP and can be extremely awkward to use because it means you can't be moving around, you gotta plant yourself in one spot which most of the time is gonna get you killed. If you can make the Rally Barricade work, then fair enough, but the Towering Barricade is usually what you'll want to be running in the Crucible. At first I never really used my Barricade that much, it seemed a bit pointless when the time it takes to deploy the Barricade could have been time simply taking cover or running away. But after a while I started forcing myself to use the Barricade more and after getting used to it I've come to realise it's a much more powerful tool than expected if you know how and when to place it. The Barricade can be great for providing protection for your team, blocking off corridors, providing visibility around corners, but if you're smart with it, it can be used in much more advantageous ways. For example, if you get into a lane or the middle of the field and deploy a Barricade, you can provide a safe path for you and your teammates to move up and push in on the enemy and gain some ground. It literally changes the layout of the field and brings engagements onto your terms. Although sometimes you do need to decide quickly when you want to place a barricade because of the time that it takes to actually deploy. Those few seconds where you're stuck in the animation can get you killed. Another example I've started using this for is defusing bombs in Countdown because it can provide those extra few seconds you might need to defuse and win the round for your team. It can be an excellent asset if, like I said, you know when to use it. Don't just go placing the barricade wherever you want or around every single corner, but also don't be afraid to use it in one-on-one -on -one gunfights as well. So many times I've been in a losing engagement, but because I deployed my barricade, I was able to turn the fight in my favour because it gave me time to regain my health and plan my next move. What a lot of players also don't seem to know is that an enemy barricade can actually damage you when you walk through it, taking away half of your health, and once again, this has helped me win so many engagements that I should have lost. It surprises me how many people don't actually know about this, even other titans who just blindly walk through my barricade, which is part of what inspired me to make this video. Now, pair this with something like the exotic chess piece, the Crest of Alpha Lupi. This is a returning exotic from the first Destiny, its unique perk means that your supers generate more orbs, but with Destiny 2, it now has another function, and that is it creates a healing pulse when you deploy a barricade. I know it may not be the most powerful exotic, and maybe not your first choice, but it's something I've been testing recently. Unfortunately, the healing pulse isn't quite as good as it sounds. At first, I imagine something similar to maybe a weaker version of the Warlock's healing rift, maybe something that would instantly take you back up to full health, or at least provide a lingering boost to recovery as long as your barricade is still up. Instead, it only regens a small portion of your health, somewhere around just under half, and I was a little bit underwhelmed at first, however, it's actually pretty useful. All those scenarios I mentioned earlier, and the ones shown in the gameplay all throughout this video, the odds in your favour are greatly increased with this chess piece. Sometimes just that small boost can be the difference between winning or losing an engagement, as long as you're smart with it. For example here, I get a kill and took some damage, so I deployed my barricade, which allowed me to get back into the fight quicker and assist my teammate for the next kill. Here I just got a little bit too ambitious with my SMG, but I deployed my shield and the health boost gave me just enough to win the gunfight. And once again here, in case you're wondering, I was just messing around with SMGs in this game, which is why I was using the red SMG in the Crucible, but I got myself into a 1v3 situation and thankfully the health boost plus the damage done by walking through my barricade weakened this hunter enough to allow me to finish them off with a single melee whilst my teammates cleaned up the other two enemies and I survived the engagement. And lastly here, whilst I do end up trading with the enemy, my barricades still allow me to push up and get them within my SMG's range for the kill. And these are just a few examples of what I've been able to do with the barricade that I've got on video. I don't know if this is going to be my new go-to exotic in the Crucible, but I have been liking it more and more the more I use it. 
Anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something from this. If you'd like to keep up to date with me, be sure to follow me on Twitter, links in the description. As always, thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you've all been enjoying the content recently. Your positive ratings are greatly appreciated. And I'll talk to you next time.